All right, let's do this. Sorry for the lighting. Borderline tragic. So for my English project, I am going to be reviewing Sparkling Water in all of its glory. Specifically, Bubbly, Spindrift, Pellegrino, LaCroix, and Pierre. Pierre? I can't talk. Alrighty. So, Sparkling Water was made because it is delicious and people like it. It has been around for a long time, um, but a big reason that it suddenly spiked in popularity in recent years is because it has flavor, the carbonation is fun, it's hydrating, and it is zero to very few calories. So technically the creator of Sparkling Water is a man named Joseph Priceley, who accidentally created it in 1767 when he suspended a bowl of water above a beer vat at a brewery in England. However, it was Jacob Schweppes who commercialized it, but the brand who is most referred to when it comes to sparkling water and the popularization of it in recent years is none other than LaCroix. LaCroix was founded by the G. Hewleman Brewing Company in 1981 and eventually was required, acquired by the National Beverage Company in 2002. Fun fact, the founder is a man named Nick Caparella, who has stories that I will not be sharing in this video due to it not being at all PG. Bubbly was first traded in February 2018 and is owned by none other than PepsiCo, the second largest food company in the world. Fun fact, in April of 2019, I myself went to a Michael Bublé concert, love the guy, in Tacoma, and he told us a story about how his hotel, I think it was the one in Tacoma, left him two cans of bubbly, a Sharpie pen, and just a picture of him. So he appreciated the joke, so he used the pen, autographed the cans, autographed the picture, and had a great time at that hotel. Spindrift was founded in 2010 by Bill Freelman, marketing the fact that each can contains five to 8% real fruit juice, as opposed to the generic natural flavors used by most of its competitors. Fun fact, the founder grew up on a farm in a community where everything was fresh and local, and he hopes to help spread that lifestyle and that ingredient standard to the public. Way to go. Pellegrino was founded in 1899 in San Pellegrino Terme, Italy. They are now owned by Nestle the largest food company in the world, who profits off of sources such as child slavery and the privatization of, of areas and poverties, uh, only water sources. So that's cool. Fun fact, Pellegrino is mineral water. So in addition to being carbonated, it is naturally filtered by the Italian Alps, where there is a good chance Leonardo da Vinci drank. So we're all basically him, is what I'm trying to say. In 1863, bubbles taken from a French spring were bottled and sold, and in 1898, the spring was bought by Dr. Louis Perrier, giving the brand its name, Perrier. Perrier is also owned by Nestle, that wonderful company mentioned before. Nestle owns many major corporations, such as Wonka Candy, Gerber, Ralph Lauren, and many more of your favorite brands. Fun fact, the springs where the water was bottled can, used to contain many health benefits. Natural spas are excellent for the body, but Dr. Perrier decided something was missing, a profit. So yeah, those are my little fun facts about some of the biggest sparkling water companies. It was really fun, really exciting, and I can't wait to give you all my thoughts and opinions on each of these brands. Sparkling Water Addicts, for the win. Stay tuned.